Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Lelite Anna 2. The Anna 2 is a single boiler dual purpose machine, meaning that you have one boiler that's responsible for both espresso production and also for steaming. The Anna 2 also features a PID controller, and a PID is essentially a digital thermostat. It allows you to control your extraction temperature for your coffee, so you can really dial that in to get the best tasting espresso. But that's not the only benefit. It also gives you thermal stability. Usually single boiler machines are controlled using a mechanical thermostat, which uh, can overshoot by quite a bit, as much as eight to 10 degrees. So your coffee can be either too hot or too cold. You're trying to guess what the temperature is at. A PID solves that problem because it keeps the temperature at a set point, which will give you more consistent results and a better tasting cup of coffee. To demonstrate the Elite Anna 2, I'll be making a few different sets of drinks. I'm gonna be making a double shot of espresso, then I'll make a milk-based drink, and I'll also show you how to make an Americano with this machine. And alongside the Lelite Anna 2, I'm using the Baratza Sete 270 grinder, which is a great grinder to pair with any espresso machine. Uh, it's very versatile, it does a wonderful job. The machine is fairly simple to use. Uh, on the top left, we have the PID controller, and it's fairly easy to use. If you want to change the ch temperature, you press the down button, and then you press the up button. I have it set to 90 degrees uh, Celsius, uh, but I can change that by going up or down. I will leave it at 90, because I do like that temperature for the particular coffee that I'm having. To the right of that, you have a three position switch, and the top position is the steaming position. We'll put the machine into that mode uh, once I make a milk-based drink, which will be uh, coming up shortly. The middle position is if you wish to get water, and I'll also show you that. And the bottom position is the coffee position. That's the position it's gonna be in most often uh, when you wanna brew a shot of espresso. And the switch next to it is a two position switch, and that's basically just to turn the pump on and off. The Lelite Anna 2 has a multi-directional steam wand, so you can actually move this around in any direction. It's a single uh, hole tip. Uh, it really does a nice job for, for a machine of this class of steaming, and I'll show you that once I'm making a, a cappuccino. So the first drink that I'm gonna make is a double shot of espresso, or actually two shots of espresso, because I'm gonna split it. And I'm using the Bratza Sete grinder, which I actually have already programmed to my setting here. I'm doing a four second grind. this machine uses a 57 millimeter um, a basket so you need a 57 millimeter tamper which I've done I put my portafilter back in place my cups down and again I just want to make sure that I have it in coffee position which I do and I'll just press the pump on and begin my extraction Vienna has a, a pressure gauge right here. That's a manometer that measures the pressure inside uh, the group. So it's, uh, if that's low, uh, if it's not in the green zone, I have it at about nine bars. If it's too low, that usually means that your grind is too coarse. I'll just stop it right there. And I have two lovely shots of espresso. The next drink that I'm gonna make is a milk-based drink. And in order to do that, I'm putting the uh, left switch into the top position, that's into steaming mode. Uh, now what will happen is the machine will begin raising the temperature inside the boiler to steaming temperature. I like to do milk first on single boiler machines. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, when I make my coffee right after this, the boiler will be refilled with water. If you want to do coffee first on a single boiler machine, it's important to remember after you're done steaming to refill your boiler because single boiler machines do not have an autofill function. So we just have to give it about, uh, you know, about a minute or so in order to raise the steam temperature. And once that happens, I'm going to begin frothing my milk. The PID begins flashing at 115 degrees Celsius and that's essentially a warning. You definitely do not want to pull any shots of espresso at that temperature because it could be quite dangerous. Uh, your portafilter can blow off because you'd be extracting with steam instead of with water. Uh, I'm at about 140 degrees right now, which is very high. So I'm going to begin frothing my milk. The Anna 2 has a single hole tip. Uh, which gives you a uh, quite nice control actually. It's, um, 
It's great for people who are just starting out because it doesn't froth too quickly and you can even do small amounts of milk. Like I'm using only a 12 ounce pitcher and it's moving the milk and it's frothing it very nicely with relative ease. Afterwards, just close your valve, wipe your wand and give it a little purge. We need to bring the machine back down into brewing temperature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put actually it into brewing position, the bottom position, and I like to speed it up a little bit and just run some steam through the group. This will also refill the boiler, and you can see how hot that water is. I'll probably just stop it right there. And the reason I did that is again to, of course, to cool the machine back down to espresso brewing temperature. Now I'm gonna give it a few seconds to stabilize at 90 degrees. Uh, it, it's gonna actually go a little bit below because I did introduce cold water into the boiler. And this light right here is actually the heating element light. So when that's on, that means the heating element is on. Uh, so that's the PID at work. You can really see it. It's turning the heating element on and off to achieve a certain temperature inside the boiler. Put in my portafilter. I'm at 90 degrees, so I'm comfortable to start brewing right here. During the extraction, it is normal to see the temperature go down because again, you are introducing cold water into the boiler. Now I just have to add my milk. I actually even got a decent uh, amount of latte art there, although that is not my specialty. It really does a great job frothing. Mm, it's actually quite good. Yeah. And the last drink that I'm gonna demonstrate is an Americano. And in order to do that, I'm gonna once again add my espresso. I have the left switch in the bottom position and I'll extract my espresso. You can see it's quite a nice extraction. I'll just pull my cup out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add water to my Americano. And to do that, I put the switch into the middle position. That's the water position. And I'm just gonna give it a minute to uh, let the temperature rebound a little bit. And I open the steam wand and turn the pump on. And that will dispense water through the steam wand from inside the boiler. And once I have enough, of course, I'll turn that pump off, close the valve, and I have a nice Americano that's uh, ready to enjoy. One of the great things about the Lily Anna is that it offers great value. This machine offers a lot of features for a really good price. The machine is Italian made, it's very compact, it's a good looking machine, and it has a lot of great features that can help you make great espresso at home, all for a very reasonable price. If you're interested in the Lily Anna 2 or the Brazza Sette, or if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're always ready and happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about espresso machines, coffee machines, coffee grinders, everything to do with coffee. I thank you for watching and have a great day.